<laughs> Next topic of the day. Your top five favorite games of all oh, time. You guys are going to have to help me with this list. Mm. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, well, there's got to be a Halo on this list, right? Okay, I, I can say, I, I can probably name four off the top of my head, but it's funny because this list will always change. This, this oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. point of the discussion. I talk about video games like I do food. People always mm. ask, like, what's your favorite food? If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm like, God, nothing. That'd be hell. Yeah. You, you end up getting sick of it. No matter what, you're eventually going to There's a place in Austin called Torchy's Tacos. Yes, yes. we know it well. Really oh, good, God, right? Yes. And you don't have it in San Francisco. So every yeah. time you go there, it's a treat. Yeah. I think we had it like four days in a row. I'm like, I fucking hate Torchy's. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that to yourself. You can't binge on stuff and think you're going to appreciate it at some point. So like for me, it's right now it's almost like nostalgic. And like when yep. it's like, I'll thought in my head, it's basically Halo 1, Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2. Kind of Which same. one? Ugh. Kingdom Hearts 2 had two swords. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like two more. Me too. Okay. I, my thing is with two, it's like one, yeah, it was the original Petron. and this and that. But two played better. The controls were better. Yeah. It was more epic. The, the fight against the thousand oh. freaking Heartless, I was like, you won me over. Yeah. And the fucking, oh, just Cloud and Squall together. Like, are you kidding me? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, it was basically, good. yeah, it was like it was teenage terrible. masturbation for me. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff I masturbated to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Halo 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Fantasy 7, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Subsistence, not, yeah. or Substance, I think. Was it Substance? Substance was, was three. Substance was two. Substance was three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time with the fifth. Well, I mean, let's, let's go through that then. So, Halo, why Halo 1? Um, it was it was the game that made first person shooters work on a console for me. Mm -hmm. For most, I think, yeah, that's yeah. really redefined. I, it. Well, it was the, I think the dual stick shooter, you yeah, know, yeah, like Golden Eye. Sure, good point. It was, it, yeah, I, I never really got into Golden Eye. I didn't own an N sixty four, and like Halo for me, my first experience it, with it was multiplayer. Like I had like a birthday party, and my friend brought his Xbox over. I'm like, this just makes sense. It yeah. makes sense to me. Everything clicked. Like I even played with the shitty Duke controller. Oh yeah, and then I remember getting an S and being like, oh my god, life is great. Um. Yeah, it just it just it was the first person shooter. Even to this day, it still just makes sense to me. It yeah. just works, especially with an elite controller. Jeez, it's mm, bad. I'm about a, to buy a hundred and fifty dollar controller just so I can play the game better. Yeah, I mean, that's, but it's worth. That's a great. It's controller. so good. It's an investment. The achievement hunters got it, and I I used it for a little bit. I'm like, I can't go back. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you can actually aim. It feels so good. <laughs> um, and then I remember just being blown away by the single player, like that first opening mission. I was just like, it was just, mm -hmm. I was I was at a friend's house because I didn't have an Xbox. They were downstairs, I think, playing like World of Warcraft. I was upstairs. I just remember being like, "This game is awesome!" Yeah, I, I'm in a spaceship and exploded. I was like, I didn't know anything about the Covenant. Like, it just got me invested in this world mm -hmm. so much. So, Halo One, almost for like nostalgic reasons. I, I mean, Halo One, love that game. yeah, Halo One is so special to me for the same reasons, both campaign and multiplayer. Like, no. I think my first dual stick shooter uh, was Time Splitters on PS2, mm -hmm. and I loved that for the quirky story and for whatever. But yeah. the, it felt like Goldeneye, just mm -hmm. like where the, the you're same not, guys, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it felt that way. And it was just like you know, the aiming's kind of. Like, it wasn't perfect. It, was yeah, yeah. it felt cartoony. Yeah, um, I always thought that was a weird thing that they carried over to Time Splitters that um, Goldeneye did, where because it wasn't a twin six shooter, Goldeneye being what it was, you'd have to stop, hold aim, and then yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, okay, that that was a limitation. And then uh, Time Splitters was a twin six shooter, and they still had that they mechanic. Still did it, yeah, it's like, please stop. Yeah, it, it yeah. Was weird. and I love Time Splitters, but mm -hmm. then I played Halo, and I was like. Oh my god! Like yeah. this feels so much better. And I remember controlling the warthog for the first time, and being like, "This doesn't make any fucking sense." And then all of a sudden, it clicked. I'm like, "This makes more sense than any fucking yeah. vehicle ever did." Just, like just the weight and everything. Yeah, like, I was just it just it was a game that just worked. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. Like when you feel it for the first time. Like I said, most of the picks that I have are almost just deep rooted in nostalgia. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. you were talking about the campaign. Like I'll never forget the silent cartographer level, mm -hmm. which is like the third level in the game. And there's the beach, and it. It felt like such an epic invasion, even though really, like you look at it it's now, like, it's, it's like, like ten dudes. But yeah, I mean, we, it we, felt big. I went know, back the sniping and mission. I just did a, I did just replayed it with uh, Lawrence. We did a co op mission for it uh, with Master Chief Collection. When it works, <laughs> it's great. Uh, but the co op kept kicking us out, and it sucked. <laughs> but when we did that level, when we landed. I was just like, uh, hard on. This is so good. Like it, even because they, they did the remaster thing yeah. with it, so it still feels good. Like you, I get that nostalgic ping of like, I can't believe the game's 10, 12 years old now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're old. So yeah, we're very old. No. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I kind of need help with a fifth. What's a good, like, classic game that everyone renowns is like Mario? Is any Mario on that list? Mario. Because that kind of rounds out your list. <laughs> <sighs> That's lazy. <laughs> I don't. Um, oh, you know what? Um, it's going to be a Zelda. Oh. Mm. Well, it's yeah. got to be Ocarina of Time, then the best one. Maybe. I think Majora's Mask was better. <laughs> That's acceptable. I'll yeah, I mean, at yeah. this table, that is an acceptable thing. I don't think so, but. Yeah. Um, I put a lot of hours in a Majora. Yeah, you know what it was because and like a lot, I base a lot of these on like 
personal memories. Of course. Yeah, of course. And Majora's Mask was that game where I had the I had the strategy guide and I was getting all I was doing the last fierce deity mask uh to get you know I have to get all the masks and it, you have to have you done this where you have to like you go through the entire day there there is a story that plays through th- all three days mm-hmm. and you have to be at the right place at the right time to do yes. all these things and like I remember being up to like five in the morning eyes bloodshot and like I finally did it and I think my mom came home from work and she's like what are you doing up I'm like huh who are you <laughs> like the light was you know the sun was coming up <laughs> and um yeah, that was that was like that, that game just it just brings so many memories. No, mm-hmm. I mean when I think back to both those games, that's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Ocarina of Time was such a special one for me, yeah. right? Because it was my first Zelda. My friend had to convince me to play it, right? Oh, really? And first I came one. home and I put it in, and like just gone. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just gone playing that game. Link, Link to the Past was my yeah. First I'm always one. I'm a Link to the Past guy. Yeah, I could, sure. I never played the first one on NES. It just mm-hmm. looked way too hard for me. I mean, it was <laughs> yeah it was, for a little kid at least. It was a, yeah, me. I was. I mean, I must have been five or six or whatever mm-hmm. when it came out. The game came, released in what 85, 86? Yeah, I was born in eighty five. So I was a youngin. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, Link to the Past. And then Ocarina of Time, have you played Link to the Past yet? Yeah, well, I've played it since okay. then. Yes, yes, yes. They're almost remakes of each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Kind and of. It, and that's the thing is like that. And I wonder how much that is because every, every Zelda since Majora's Mask, right? Mm-hmm. I'm always like, oh, can we stop telling the same fucking story over and over? So, I mean, it is. You know, it's there's dungeons there. Then eventually you need to collect three things. Then there's an alternate version of the same place you're in where you need to get five or seven more things. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah. I think okay. of it from this perspective, just because it's your 18th Zelda yep. you played, it's someone else's first. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. And like, I, I'm totally with that. But yeah. it's just, it does suck. Like, my biggest critique of Nintendo as a huge Nintendo fan, fucking huge Nintendo fan. Mm-hmm. The is NX's the fact, biggest fanboy. Yeah, I am the NX's biggest fanboy. But uh, it hit a point where Zelda and Mario and Metroid and all that, they st- every game previously had a different art style and a different feel and did something unique. And yeah. then it hit a point where it's like, just sequel, 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 sequel. And it's like, how come we haven't, like, you look at Mario 1, you look at Mario 2, you look at Mario 3, you look at Mario World, you look at Mario World 2. Yeah. Those are all, you look at Mario 64, different games, totally different art styles, different look, different feel. Sure. And then new Super Mario Bros. And now every game since then has looked like that. Oh, I think the technology was progressing at a different rate. I, 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 I can't really say faster rate, but going from 8-bit to 16-bit was just like, and then going from, you know, 16-bit to, did they just jump to 64? 64, yeah. They never did 32, yeah. So, well, yeah, PlayStation was 32. Oh, oh, no, no, but, uh, um, but Nintendo never did it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. But I mean, I'm even just talking about art style. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you, you look at... They just kind of, once they hit Mario 64, gave Mario a voice. That's what Mario is. I think after uh, Sunshine, he's kind of looked the same and done the same. I, I don't know. I mean, it seems to work for them. And yeah. uh, I mean, for sure, it does. I, I don't the know games what, are still good. Yeah, I don't but know they're what not, else. they're never going to be the perfect life-changing experience. Yeah. Then Galaxy happened, so I guess I'm just spitting bullshit. Wrong, yeah. <laughs> right, well, I was going to say, like, look at Sonic and the sad state he's in. Like, what if we made Sonic edgy and mm. gave Shadow a... Gun. Gun. Let's make him yeah. a werewolf and give him a scarf yeah. and long legs. What do you mean we're losing money? Why is no one <laughs> buying this shit? <laughs> I'm, I'm almost positive Nintendo's looking at that and being like, let's keep Mario wholesome. Let's yeah. just keep him what he is. Yeah. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. Sonic's very broken. Sonic's a fucking joke yeah. at this I mean, point. Sonic never made the jump to 3D. People say he's he did with Adventure, now. but he didn't. It's sad. He's yeah. funnier on 4chan than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing. Oh, uh, um, but uh, with the NX, mm. I actually am. I My prediction. Mm-hmm. It's going to be announced at, uh, they're going to call it something else, obviously, but it's going to be announced at E3. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's going to come out holiday. Yep. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to not be an exclusive. No, it's not But exclusive, there's going to get, it might come out on there first. I think they're, I think Cloud. Well, it's first on PlayStation. I, th- I don't know. Well, they announced that They already. said it was, it was first there? Yeah, they said first on PlayStation. The, the Cloud announcement yeah. for Smash yeah. Brothers was like, something's going on. Yeah. You're there's right there with something. something. Yeah. We, we Maybe it, it agree. M- I my, my I want to say it's gonna be a launch game. It's not gonna be a launch game. It won't because that game game. is impossible. So far off. Yeah. Uh, now that it's becoming more and more real, I'm getting a bit more excited for Final Fantasy VII remake. Because mm-hmm. that is one of my favorite games of all time. Well, okay, uh, yeah. So going on that, that yeah. Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't mm-hmm. think top five, but it's the it first is, Final Fantasy definitely, I played. So um, I played ten first, which is probably not Weird. the best one to go into. For, I was just young, so that's, no, that's just fine. how that's, that worked. Most people don't go backwards. That's but I, I I went back and I played a whole bunch of them after, and like oh, okay. a lot of them are better. I love ten, but I think it's a nostalgia thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I do love the battle system. I think it's amazing, but seven is seven's great. And um, going back to it, it still did hold up, not graphically or anything, but in, <laughs> in all the other ways. Um, so people are either really excited for the reboot or like hating it because they want an exact reboot. What are your thoughts on it? 
I, I don't know what I want now. It's been so long, and I think Kingdom Hearts kind of became my new Final Fantasy, where I was like, oh, the combat's good. And it went away for 25 Damn. years or whatever. <laughs> Just don't get into bed with Disney. That's a bad idea. <laughs> from, from, uh, like, the stories I was hearing, man, like... Like Disney like doesn't want that game to come out. They're just like because the deal was apparently made before the new sure their new the, like Disney Interactive yeah video games on when the they road. came in like because that deal went in years ago and like it's gonna come out but fuck me man it's it's like a, it's a sad long story how it's what's happening but regardless I'm saying like combat wise I was like yeah Kingdom Hearts figured it out it's fun I they made an RPG cool Final Fantasy VII is like it's so dated I don't know if you can change it I don't know I don't know if you can update it today's standards and. I love Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy Seven. Advent Children still makes me feel weird. No, I mean that's like, that's the thing is it's like that movie was it was fan service that we all wanted at the time, mm -hmm. and then we got it, and then you think about it, and you're like, ooh, I love this wasn't Final Fantasy well, Seven. Oh, I love the art style, how it was like pseudo cyberpunk, yeah, um, future fantasy, kind of this weird. Like I guess once you get out of Midgar, it was mostly fantasy yeah. again. But like I love the world that they built, and I love that there were like this. There's this weird clash. It was so unique. And Advent Children came out and was like, oh, it looks like every other anime. It like, looks like every yeah. other anime. Yeah, it's yeah. super dark. And all of a sudden, Cloud's... Like, they just ruined Cloud's character. He went from being this guy that, like, had issues but mm -hmm. was still kind of fun and, like, did the whole cross-dressing thing yeah. and all of that. And then you get Advent Children and he's just a hot topic. Yeah. This is the problem. Like, this is the problem with the remake is that no matter what happens with this remake, people aren't going to be happy. Well, and course, they're going to be well. really mad. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, that's my thing is, like, we're getting the port. On PlayStation 4. Yeah, the, and the, the PC, PC one, port yeah. or whatever. And mm -hmm. it's like, to me, that is the thing that needs to be the same. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me. But I'm like, I think that they should update it. They should do things. The battle system is going to be different. The if that battle yeah. system was in a modern game, it wouldn't make sense. No, because you we've know? progressed since then. I don't. I mean, they might try to make it like the new, what is it called now? Final Fantasy 15? It's not yeah. versus. No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's 15, just 15. 15. Fuck that naming. Final convention. Fantasy 15, dudes oh. in a car. <laughs> dudes in a car. That, that demo didn't play too well for me. Yeah. I, it was okay. But I it did. was okay. I'm. Yeah, I, Hopeful. Ho I hope Final Fantasy VII doesn't play like that. I don't know. I mean, like at the end of the day, too, I haven't seen anything yet other than a cinematic thing. So yeah, I'm I, now now it's getting feeling like a bit closer. Like we might see some gameplay at E3. That now I'm like, nah. Yeah. You sure? You Hell no, dude. Oh, really? Are you that kidding far me? Off? Well, the E3? story, the, the guy who was directing it didn't know he was directing it until like E3. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No. E3, we're doing I, it? I doubt we're going to get anything at E3 for this. Okay. I think that we might get at, at some random, at like TGS or like some random Square thing that Square just fucking decides to do out of nowhere. Yeah. I think we might get another random ass CG teaser. We need... That's good. We're not getting gameplay until we get at least seven more fucking random ass trailers and shit. I mean, look at Fallout Fantasy 15 or I, Kingdom Hearts. I just I thought these days were over because welcome to the world of Fallout where it was announced and released in the same year. Everyone, please do that. I, I like that. Oh, like gone, I thought were the days of Bioshock Infinite were like, here's a game. See you in five years. Yep. And you're like, mm -hmm. wait, what? Yeah. No, I want For games know. like as big yeah. as Final Fantasy VII Remake, they did not need to come out and tout yeah. it before they had stuff. I think that's a, that's a cultural difference, too. Sure. Like, with Japan, true, like true. you're like, you must be hyped Entirely. for the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Zelda's another <laughs> thing like that, too. You know, like. <sighs> Dude, that, was, that Nintendo Direct thing pissed me off. Oh, I loved it. I, I, think I, I think I saw it pop up on our games or whatever, and they're like, uh, they're like, oh, or uh, our gaming, and they're like, oh, look at um, new Zelda gameplay, and I went to it as an IGN player, and it's like 13 seconds, like, fuck you, yeah, like no, 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 you don't do that. Came on a horse, yeah, yeah. 2016. Well, I mean, they they did it for <laughs> I think a very clear reason, and that's that was just to say this game is still coming this year, and it is on the sure. the Wii U. Link is a man, it's not a girl. Linko. <laughs> Oh, Linkle. With that said, I would love to see an old man Link game one day. Old sure. man Link? I'd love to see that. <laughs> like, a, like a grizzled old man. Yeah. Or just maybe plays a new character at some point. Ocarina of Time sequel or instead of going younger, goes, goes older. That would be great, right? Yeah. He plays an old man. Uh, not like Metal Gear Solid 4 style where it didn't really matter. Yeah, nothing's different yeah. about him. Ooh, yeah. sometimes he'll rub his back. Yeah. Uh, Is your mind blown yet? <laughs> why, why was he made old and why did he look like a child molester? <laughs> I'm confused by this. Oh, there's a 45-minute video. Oh, my... PlayStation or my TV shut off because yeah, yeah, I haven't touched the controller. There's no interaction. That's very sad. 